Welcome to the Irish Farmers Journal Weekly Podcast, brought to you by Ornua, the home of Irish dairy. The other maybe less famous person involved in, in Glanbia, the tillage farmer. The future for, for tillage farmers in Glanbia, when some of them would feel that they're the poor relation. Well, isn't the tillage business a strange business, really, in that we've had three bumper harvests with three very bad prices. The tillage farmer is more than anyone, I'd say, exposed to the world market for his product. It's very hard to understand how some of them even survive because allegedly the margins are very, very low. We have done as much as anyone to support our tillage farmers. We've brought in support from the co-op. About 40% of our purchases from our suppliers are into premium contracts, oats. There's a list of them there and uh, that's higher than anybody else's. We're constantly being compared to people who you know, only buy maybe one product and only buy the, the base product, the, the wheat and barley, whereas we have a whole stable of premium products for our suppliers and there's a lot of extra uh, money in that. But in saying that, it is a very difficult business. People have survived by growing scale, but scale in itself is not an answer if a business isn't making money. Um, one, I suppose, that has jumped up a bit, pay of, of directors and board members. I'm not going to ask you to to you know the the turkeys voting for christmas but you know how is it possible to square that with the farmer on 22 23 cent a litre when he sees farmers his his own peers uh on a on pace vastly higher than what they're on well the organization is based on a very democratic structure it starts at the membership with 16 and a half thousand members in in glanbia eight thousand of those are active five thousand of those are supplying milk the value that is involved in the three different organisations in Glanbia is a very serious business. When you become a director of a company, you take on a responsibility of ensuring that that company trades in a responsible manner. The most important thing is that everybody is paid at the end of each month or each year, and that responsibility effectively goes back to the directors. The directors in Glanbia last year had over 50 meetings. There is a huge amount of information to be assumed by each director before meetings. They sit on three different boards. It's a great honour and a privilege to do so, but it is a great amount of work as well. There are no expenses paid to directors. Their director's fees are what they get. They obviously need to take a lot of time off from their farms. They need to replace that work. It isn't a lifetime job. It's a job that you do for your term while you're elected. And I believe that people have great regard and respect for their directors. They give them plenty of criticism. They expect them to be of a standard that they understand, know and effectively oversee the running of the business to their satisfaction. That's a great responsibility for a small number of people to carry for a very large shareholding. The Irish Farmers Journal Weekly Podcast, brought to you by Ornua, the home of Irish dairy.